Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We, we should give thank every time to the Lord. Thank Thank for the gratitude to the Lord, which the Christian give the, to the our God. That is, that is, is, is the children of God. Always give the thanks to the Lord every time, whatever, wherever they are. We should give thanks to the Lord. That I am telling you. Today the sermon is thankful in thanksgiving time. We are living in a year of uh, ingratitude. Huh? The, some people don't give thanks to the Lord. Thank you. What Bible say? For the Thessalonians God 5 chapter 16. Always praise. Now always pray to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord. In every circumstance, give thanks to the Lord. All we hear, you know, <clears throat> uh, is uh, negative news. Like a complaint and uh, criticism of the people in the world. We point out the uh, other people that they, they, they are not good, they are doing, I don't like that. Uh, we blame the other people and criticize to the other people. Yeah. It's like a neighbor, the friend, <clears throat> or society itself. So all problem we used to complain and don't give a thank to the Lord. God doesn't like. However, as we are Christian, we should give a thank to the Lord. Uh, throughout our lives, after we believe in Jesus Christ, as the children of God, if you give thanks to God, even in the biggest of our problems or even in sickness, in troubles, in, in difficult times, no matter what you are, we give thanks to the Lord. God wants us to thank to the Lord. Whatever you are in trouble, no matter what you are doing now, environment and situation you are faced in, it doesn't matter. We always give to thanks, overflowing our thanks in our heart should to pour, come out from the, our heart and open our mouth to the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, then God gonna give bless and the wonderful peace. Yes, I believe that God will be pleased whenever you give thanks to the Lord. And the everlasting thanks to God we are doing. God is going to bless you so that we'll enjoy the good health in our life. Everything will go well in our lives, even as our soul is getting along well. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Yeah, thank you, the lift a hand, give glory, and give thank to the Lord. Hallelujah. And our overflowing thanks. Oh, I like that. Our overflowing thanks will help us to overcome this world. And travel with our face, you believe. And leading us into the abundance grace of our Lord, whom we serve. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Here is uh, the one man who had a leprous disease. And healed by the Jesus Christ. Give thanks to the Lord. Let me tell you this story. According to <clears throat> uh, the Luke 17, chapter 15 through the 16, uh, well, let me tell you. The, the, the scripture. One of them, the ten, lepro. When he saw he was healed, came back praising God in loud voice, he threw himself at the Jesus' feet and thanked him and he. He was a Samaritan. He was a foreigner. Hmm? You know, Jesus traveled along the <clears throat> border between uh, the, the Samaria and the Galilee. <clears throat> uh, and he entered into the certain village. Ten men who had a leprosy met Jesus. Since they had leprosy, they could not come close to Jesus. You know, leprosy was considered as an unclean disease from the Old Testament times. Lepros could not live with a family and friend. They had to be separated to be uh, from other people. They should live living outside the village. Leviticus 13, chapter 45, 46. Listen, my friend. <coughs> uh, the person with such an infectious disease must wear torn clothes. Let his hair be unkempt, covered low part of his face, and cry out, unclean, unclean. Huh? As long as he has the infection, Be remains on cleanness, he must live alone. Hmm? You know, ten men, let me tell you the spiritually of this story. Ten men with leprosy signifies the human status 
since all mankind has turned away from God. For since and unrighteousness, all human live their lives as a spiritual rapper, spiritual rapper in the biggest of their sins. Bible say, all have sinned short of the glory of God. We, we were all spiritual lepers before we believe in Jesus Christ. And consequently, <clears throat> listen, my friend, In their speech are deformed and decayed in sin without their knowledge. Yes, we, you and me, we were spiritual rapper. We are healed by our leprosy, by Jesus Christ saved us. We are cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Give glory. Thank you, Lord. I should thank to the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. When the ten men with leprosy saw Jesus, they called out to Jesus. Oh, Master, Master, have pity on us. When Jesus saw them, he came to them and said, Go, show yourself to the priest. We must cry out the Lord when, even when we are in biggest of the trouble. In difficult times, problem we have, and despair and pain, like ten lepers, we must cry out, come to the Lord, oh Lord, help me, heal me, our oh, disease, sickness, and solve our problem. I can, I couldn't do that anything without you. We have to cry out like uh, ten lepers. Uh, here, here, here is uh, one man I have told you that before who thank to the Lord. One of the guy who he was healed he saw he, he was healed and he came back to Jesus and knelt down thanks to the Jesus. Yeah. Listen. The Jesus said to him, Were not, were not all ten Cleaned. Where are the other nine? Where are the other nine? <laughs> Was no one found to return 
and give praise to God, except this foreigner who is Samaritan. You know Samaritan. The other nine lepers who were healed, but did not give thanks to the Jesus. Ah. I would just say, it this is like uh, a portraying, I, I wanted to say, like ourselves, we sometimes we are doing, not giving thanks to the Lord, even we have, sal we have salvation and uh, received his goodness and the big grace, we used to forget to give thanks to the Lord. Hmm? Thanksgiving, hallelujah, is the vessel, vessel to contain God's grace. Hallelujah, amen. Can I, can I get the amen? The more thanks we give to Jesus Christ, the great the grace we will receive. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. We should live a life full of the thanksgiving. Yeah. Thanks to the Lord in every circumstance. In the small thing, the big thing, it doesn't matter. We always give thanks to the Lord because we are saved from the from the slave of the sins. We are healed. Spiritual lepros. We are cleansed by Jesus Christ. When we walk together in Jesus Christ, march forward with the thanksgiving, even in the times of hopelessness. Lord will say to you, listen my friend, rise up, rise up, and go forward with your face. Your face has made well. If we live over the life filled with the thanksgiving, we will become more than conqueror in any trouble or hardship. We got victory in Jesus Christ. If we give thanks to the Lord in all ways. God will pour out the wonderful blessing to you. And you will be healed in physically, spiritually, financially, in every area you are doing now in Jesus Christ. Because your thanksgiving will be returned to you. God will going to give to you tremendously blessing through the, your face that you cry out in thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Pray the Lord, give glory. Amen. Oh, bye-bye. See you later. Don't forget, thank to the Lord. See you next time.